I am here with a lesson called Land and Water Forms. I love teaching this in the classroom, although it doesn't get repeated as often as I might like. <laughs> it's always very fun to get it out and to talk about the different types of geography, land and water forms that you might encounter out in the world. I have in front of me a big picture of water here and two different forms I have six all together that I will show you today. I really want to have a waterproof mat on my table, but you can't see I have a couple of drying cloths for when water gets out of hand. I'm wearing my apron, as usual, with water. And I do down here have another bucket for wastewater. So what you see here are some materials that I've made. These are um, non-drying, non-hardening, um, like modeling clay that I have shaped these formations out of and they're in photo trays, photo developing trays. Now you could do the same thing with these kind of materials. You could also maybe make your own out of clay dough in a little waterproof container. Uh, you could go outside in your backyard, build them out of dirt and use a hose and put water in them. If you have a sandbox that could also be a really fun place to build land and water forms. So there's plenty of ways to do it if you just think outside the box a little bit. And this right here, this one is an island. This one's a lake. Or it will be once I add the water, which is the most special part of this lesson. So let me get to it. Now that I've put water into these land and water forms, you can see the island is rising out of the water and the lake is full of water. It's a beautiful sensorial experience. An island is a body of land completely surrounded by water. Water is all around the land. That's the island. A lake is the opposite, right? A lake is a body of water that's completely surrounded by land. All around it is land. And I hope that you can see that a little bit, even though I can't move it as much with the water inside of it. Can you see the water all around? The water is all around. I can move it. And here you can see that the land is all around on every side. So that's island and lake. Let me pour the water out. You can see it here. show you two different ones. I have two right here. This is a peninsula. We've spoken a lot before about a peninsula in the United States of America. We have one that's Florida, the state of Florida. Right? And um, Texas has a peninsula as well. So you can look at the um, shapes on a globe and maybe see if you can identify some peninsulas. Peninsulas are land that extends really far into the water and you'll see that when I fill it up there. This is the opposite. This is a gulf. A gulf is a body of water that comes really far into the land. 
So Texas, there's a Gulf there by Texas and by Mexico. You can look that up on the map. And there's plenty of other Gulfs in the world. So I hope you will be able to see as I fill up the peninsula in the Gulf. My uh, gulf has a little bit of a coastal flood happening here, so I'll just try to put that water back. There we go. So now you can see the gulf is a body of water extending far into the land that's all around the other sides of it. And a peninsula is the opposite. It's a body of land extending far into the water, and the water is all around. Lift it up a little bit. You can see the water on all sides of the land. And here you can see, this one's harder to see, but you might be able to see there how far the water extends into the land. Peninsula. Gulf. I'll get rid of this water. The reason I love the photo trays for this work is because this little spout is so perfect for pouring the water out. set to talk about today. Okay, here we have a very narrow strip of land, right, that goes across from two other points of land. That's an isthmus. And here's the opposite. This will fill up with water and be a narrow strip of water that connects to other larger bodies of water. A strait. I shall fill these up with water now. Now here in the isthmus, I really need to be careful and pour on one side and then the other. We'll see what happens. you can appreciate the hard work that would go into controlling the pour of the water from the pitcher to the land and water forms and the joy of the repetition of doing that again and again. So here now you can see that I have my narrow strip of land connecting two larger bodies of land, the isthmus that connects them. And here you can see the narrow strip of water connecting two larger bodies of water, the strait. I will hold it up a little bit. There, you can see that. For the strait. <laughs> there, you can kind of see the water going on both sides of the smith there. Smith straight. I will get rid of this water. Now I'm ready to go pour out my water and clean up my workspace. Have a good time doing your own land and water forms. Bye.